I think it's pretty powerful. So first, you can put the context of your message, then write your task, then your instruction, and then clarify to make sure the AI understands. And then once it kicks out a message, you can go in and refine it. So this is a good one. Take a screenshot of this so you can see this. If you're using ChatGPT in any format, this is a very good way to write prompts correctly. So today what we're going to do is we're going to cover a simple walkthrough of Flow Chat's new AI system. Very simply, we have two objectives that we want to cover. Number one, we want to get your Flow Chat AI system up and running as soon as possible. You're actually going to be able to follow along step by step as I do this. And uh, the, the objective by the end of today's session is to have used Flowchat's AI and to have sent a message. Reminder, this is version 1.0. And what I mean by that is this is the very first version that we've put into our system that is working and functional. There is so much more to come. As you guys know, ChatGPT and the expansion of AI is going to continue. It's going to be a force in our world. It's, it's becoming more and more powerful by the day. And we're in front of the curve and making sure that you guys can amplify your business. And so one of the things I wanted to share with you is if you have a use case for how we could better use AI, we're all ears. We're listening to you. We want to know because you're the ones that are using it. So you need to tell us how you're using it and how we can better serve it to you so you can use it more efficiently. In our Slack channel, you would have uh, the, the channel called Feature Requests. And if you go to that feature requests channel and you say, hey, could you do AI to do this? We're all that, that goes right into our dev list and our team will jump right on it and get it done. OK, so we'll just know that we're on version 1.0. This is going to become 2.0, 3.0 as we go and moving forward. The first version is we're going to cover Flowchat AI in three steps. First of all, how do you get it set up? Secondly, how do you edit or create messages using it? And then third, how do you send them, right? So that's the things we're going to cover today. Very simple. Here we go with the setup. So I've got a quick video that Chris just put together that I want to watch together. It's about a minute and 41 seconds. I'm going to hit the play button. The link at the top will take you to a full-blown version of this, which I'll give you um, in the chat after. But here we go. Let's watch this. What's up, Flowchat fam? Flowchat GPT is here. And in this video, we're going to walk through how to set it up so you can begin playing with it. The first step is we can go into your uh, Flowchat account and go where your name is and select third-party integrations. It'll bring you to a page that looks like this. And we'll go to Open AI. And we'll click this on. And we'll click this link. Now, this link is going to bring you uh, probably to a page that looks something like this. And if you don't have an account with ChatGPT already, you can sign up for one and follow the simple prompts. In the event that you already have one, just select login and go ahead and finish logging in. And when you do, it'll bring you to a page like this. And we can create a new secret key. And uh, this, you guys can take this key, although it won't help you. Uh, it's already been deactivated as well, but you can copy your secret uh, key here like that and hit OK. And then we'll go back in here and we'll go ahead and paste it and hit connect. Once it's connected, we want to be sure this is huge. Hit update and then scroll up to verify uh, that the update has been uh, has been saved. To sometimes there's a green banner here. If you have hit this once or twice and don't see it, just know that it has been updated. And once it's updated, we want to test it. We want to see. So go ahead and open any pipeline of yours. And if you click the three dots here, we can go to assign templates. And you can either select new template or you know edit an existing one. And you'll now see this AI message composer button pop up. So there you go, guys. That's how you set it up. It's so fast and it's so easy. All you got to do is jump right into your account, go to your page, go to third party connections, grab your AI API key from your Flowchat account by clicking that link, add it in, hit connect, hit update, and you're done. And then you just go into your pipelines to see that work. Now, the, the green banner that Chris was talking about looks like this. You'll see this big green banner um, that once you hit that update button, it will say your information has been updated and then you're all set. Right. So once we have the setup done, which should take less than about two minutes, because you just saw that. Now, what are we going? We got to start editing and creating messages. This is the part where it gets a little bit fun, fast and easy. Right. So first and foremost, we're, we're going to go to the pipeline that you're using of choice. Now, I'm going to go through an actual live demo after this, but I just wanted to give you a point and shoot video, vi uh, big visual on this. 
So the first thing is go to your pipeline, any pipeline that um, you're wanting to work on using AI and then get in there. Secondly, what we're gonna do is we're going to go to where we assign templates. There's a couple of places we can click to get to the assigned template place. Number one, you can click the three dots like you saw in the video uh, there. The second place is over here on the right. You can hit that pipeline builder button or even you can right click on one of these messenger icons that will also bring up your templates. And then you can go into your templates and you can start to use the AI tech. Once you get into a template builder, look for this purple button here on the right hand side. You're going to enter your title first on your new message template. So whatever your title is, just pop it in there first. That's the first thing to do here. And then we're just gonna go ahead and click that purple button, the magic purple AI button. Once we've done that, it will take us to a window that looks like this. If you've never written a message before, it will have three dots. If you've written a message before and you're using AI to edit or modify something you already have, your initial original template will appear on the left your new template that's gonna be kicked out by AI will appear on the right. And if there's already one posted in here, you can use this reset or rewrite message just by one click and it will actually regenerate the message on point for you. So you have that dialed. Or if you wanna come in here and build a new message, you would just use the prompt down at the bottom, write a short message that compliments someone about the content on their, they post on their social, blah, 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 blah. I'll get into prompts here in just a second. And then once you've generated your first uh, response, it will pop up here. And then you can always use these one click buttons to do things like make it formal, make it informal, make it funny, shorten the message. Um, so those ones are very easy. Sometimes there's more prompts that will pop up, but this is very simple um, to have. And then once you've completed that message, um, it will, and you hit that apply button, it's going to take you back to the normal template builder and your new message will actually be populated right here in the message thing. And then you just hit save and that's it. It's that fast. It's that easy. And then all you have to do is send your messages. So when you have a card that's sitting ready for your next message, like anytime you're sending a message from Flowchat, you would just click one of those icons there, go into the social and send the message. And folks, that's it. It's really easy. It's straightforward and it will get you going at hyper speed. So let's do a quick recap. Number one, is your Flowchat AI system set up yet? Have you put your AI key, API key into your account? If you haven't, you want to even do that now as we're talking, as I get into Q&A, we can help you walk through that. If you're still struggling with that, it's very simple to do. And then number two, do you know now how to use the tool? right? Those are the two things that we wanted to cover today. And here's a couple of pro tips that I like to leave all the time. Number one, focusing on your prompt. If you're using the AI prompts to create new messages, uh, focusing on your prompts is going to become hyper, hyper valuable for you. Uh, and so here's a couple of examples. Like I always say, write a short message. Just say, write a message. I say, write a short message because I don't want in chat, we want to be a little bit shorter than we do longer. So using something like write short message is helpful or use the tone of blank, right? So you can write it funny, humorous, poetic, however you want, right? So your prompts are the thing where you have to put your mind thought into to make sure that you get them right. Here's an example of a prompt formula that I found. I think it's pretty powerful. So first you can put the context of your message then write your task, then your instruction, and then clarify to make sure the AI understands. And then once it kicks out a message, you can go in and refine it. So this is a good one. Take a screenshot of this so you can see this. If you're using ChatGPT in any format, this is a very good way to write prompts correctly. And I could tell you that I've been playing with this thing now for a couple of months, and the better your prompt is, the faster you can generate the response that you're looking to generate. So with that said, now we're going to dive into the mission of the week. Your mission of this week is to edit at least one message using the Flowchat AI system and send it to a prospect. Pretty easy, pretty simple to do. And now we're going to dive into a live example. And we'll come right over here to our dashboard. And we absolutely already have this Flowchat AI test pipeline set up. This one was built 100% using the AI tech. So if we're building a new pipeline, the first thing that we always do is we want to just set up the columns that we're setting up, right? So I came in here and I said, okay, these first two columns are always given. They're always there. And then we're going to have, I wanted to send an initial compliment. 
And then I wanted to build a bit of relationship. So I asked a past success question and then a future focus question. And then of course I wanna send an invite to the call. And then these ones over here are just, if you're creating new templates, I'm gonna do all of this so you can see exactly how to do it. So I know that once somebody is qualified, so they move from imported over here to qualified, now we wanna send them this initial compliment. So the initial compliment message is actually gonna be stored here in the qualified prospect stage. And so what I wanna do is I wanna click here. I'll click these three dots right here and I'll go to assign template. That's one way to do it. Or I can scroll over and I can hit this pipeline builder button and we can see all the messages at once. Either way, you can get there. I'll just use this quick example here. And now we've gone to all of our pipelines. You can see this one's assigned and marked as default. This is our initial complement here. So I'm just going to actually hit the pencil button. As soon as I hit the pencil button, you can see that my API is done. I have it here. And this is the first message that I have stored already. So if I wanted to edit this message, it's very simple. I already have my title in here, like I mentioned in the slides. I just hit the AI composer. And it takes me to this screen. And now you can see that I have my original template here. And I also have my original template here, but let's say I wanted to rewrite this message. So if I just hit rewrite message, bam, it can take up to about a minute and then it'll spit out the next request from the AI. And here we go. Now it's a really long message. We can scroll in we can say, hey, oh my gosh, your social media's content's really inspiring. This is an easy way to set up split test with shorter messages versus long ones. And again, now we have this big, long message that was created by AI. I like it. That's cool. We can come in here and click any of these buttons. As I mentioned, we can make it funny. We can shorten it. And let's just make a funny one. So if I click that one, now it's taken this new template and it's going to rewrite that entire message that was just created with a funny tone of humor. And as soon as it kicks that back out to us, again, it could take up to one minute. And now it's a little bit longer. Maybe I would use the shorten, but in this case, I'm just gonna let it be as it is, right? And then all I do is I hit apply changes. And now what you can see is it's taken me back to our normal template builder. And you can see I've got the big message here of the new AI version. And what's, what's awesome is if I hit save changes down here, this is gonna save my initial complement template the way that it is. But let's say I wanted to create a split test. Well, we have this really cool feature that's called save as new template. So if you just check that box down here on the left, and then you come up and rename this thing with, let's call it version 2.0, and then I hit save, here's this, what, what happens. Now you can see there's two template messages that are stored and I can use either one of them in my messages. Let me go over to the pipeline builder here on the right so you can see exactly what I mean when I come down and show you this. So now I'm in my pipeline builder. I hit expand all messages and you can see I've got these two messages. This was my initial one that I started with today. And then I use the AI builder to create the second version, which is right here. So that's cool. So I have both versions. And if I wanted to make this one the default, I could just undefault this one and I could default the big new one that I have here. So you can make some changes here. I'm gonna leave both of them so I can just continue with the demonstration. And of course, if you wanna build a new template in Template Builder, you can hit Create New, and then you can put your title in and go to the Composer and build a new message from there. Um, or if you're editing one of these, same thing, you can just edit the message and hit the Composer and you can go through it that way, right? So that will be in Pipeline Template Builder here, Pipeline Builder mode. But let's just go back, switch. And so that's it, right? So you can go through, um, if you want to, if you're doing it for speed, I would encourage you to use the pipeline builder. If you're just trying to change a one-off message to create a split test, kind of like I did, then you can do it either from here where we hit assign templates like that. Or the other way to do it is you can just simply right click. If I right click, it also brings up my templates here. And then I can go into any of these message templates to get to that composer. So now you know how and where to get to it. Very, very simple. Let's talk about sending messages. Thank <music> you.